Hello, I'm Faye. One of the reading prompts that I actually wait for every year is non-fiction November and it is shortly upon us. Next month a Book Olive is running her reading initiative, I believe she calls it, where the aim is to read more non-fiction than you usually do. I don't read that much non-fiction because <laughs> I've just finished my PhD and I read so many articles that I didn't feel like reading non-fiction in my spare time, which I think is actually a real shame, um, because that way I was really focused on a very limited comic that I was looking at. Um, so I'm excited for this. Um, uh, there are four prompts, words, word pairings this year that we should use to inspire us to find books that fit them and that we would like to read. I am like manhandling my books into these prompts um, because I had plenty of books already waiting for me on my shelf, um, so I just wanted to pick out four that I felt like, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it work. We'll see. You can judge me if you like. The first word pair is past time or past time. Um, and I have chosen to read a very, very, very recently hauled book called Proust and the Squid, The Story and Science of the Reading Brain. And I feel kind of pleased about myself that um, you know, on this booktube universe, I'm choosing the pastime of reading to feature in my non-fiction book. So this is all about how our brain adapted and whether or not mankind was supposed to read. My personal opinion, yes, very much so. Um, and it looks at, um, I'm, I'm thinking probably the development of our brains on the one hand, but also of the written word. I think it sounds really cool. Um, this is new. I only bought this two weeks ago, um, so this is still very fresh in my excited new book buying brain. This will be the first one. The second prompt that we got was self or shelf, um, and the book that I've chosen, well obviously was on my shelf, all of these were, um, but I'm choosing it to also apply to me, as in myself, and I'm going to read Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit. Um, this is the woman who coined the, the phrase mansplaining, I believe, so this uh, rather small book, thankfully, um, uh, it could be longer, it could be longer, I'm, I'm, I mean because of all of the reading that I want to do next month. Um, this is all about the phenomenon that men end up explaining something to women which is unnecessary because the woman is very much in the know already. Uh, I think I'm simplifying what she says in this um, sort of essay, um, but I'm looking forward to reading it in her own words. Um, I got this from my mum and she said she really enjoyed it, she recommended I read it, um, so I will. The third prompt, and therefore the third book that I am going to read, follows the prompt Wonder or Wonder. I feel like I can't actually bring out the different pronunciations of these two words. Suffice it to say, Wonder and Wonder. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to read Oliver Sacks' On the Move. This is the autobiography of his life, obviously. Oliver Sacks, I've read other non-fiction books by him where he talks more about his cases as he works as a neurologist. Um, and he has quite a, a sense of humour in reporting these and um, he spent most of his life in New York, I believe. Um, this has been handed down to me um, as well by my dad. Um, he said he really, really enjoyed it and was surprised that he enjoyed it so much. Um, it looks sort of super hefty, but according to the word, like, page count, it's actually not super, super bad. Um, yeah, so Oliver Sacks unfortunately passed away two years ago, I believe. Um, and I think this book will be really interesting because he's such an interesting man. And then... Finally, and possibly the most removed from the prompts, is Unorthodox by Rebecca Felt. no, Deborah Feldman. Unorthodox by Deborah Feldman. Um, the final prompt being micro and macro. I could now try to somehow argue that this is, follows the prompt micro because it follows the account of one single person in one very unique uh, religious sect in New York City, da 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 da, but also macro because religion is all around and everyone somehow at some point in their life at least has to question whether or not they are religious. But this is just the fourth book I'm going to read because I want to read it. This um, 
is her personal account of how at the age of 19, I believe, she decides to up and leave the set that she spent her entire life living in. I'm really interested in this because the the sect that is looked at um, apparently is just sort of in central New York City amongst all of us, which is not really what I stereotypically think of uh, when I think of these sort of very reclusive religious groups. I'm not even sure if calling them a sect is correct, but I guess I'll find out when I read this. She's also written a, a sort of follow-up non-fiction book um, where she talks about her life after having left the sect. And in a way, I feel like that is equally as interesting. So if I like this, I'll move on to the second. So these four I'm hoping to read. I've tried to keep a mix in topic and also in sort of density so I don't get burned out too quickly. Um, let me know what you're reading and also uh, if for some reason you're reading any of these, I've, I've seen this one a few times, um, check out the Goodreads group if you want. I have and it is deadly to the list of books that you might want to read because there are so many great suggestions there. Um, yeah, but looking forward to this and I'll see you soon. Bye! -bye.